Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. If you're like me and you have the latest Galaxy smartphone, the one that shoots 8K, you are so excited to use it. You're using Shotcut as your video editor, but yet you are unable to export it because Shotcut only went up to 4K. Now it does support 8K, and even though I couldn't really find any information on how to export 8K, I, by trial and error, I figured out a way to do it. I wanted to share it with you. I mean, look at the, this video right here. This is a video of a flower that I use Shotcut to edit it and zoom in to 400% and just look at the crystal clear clarity of this picture of this flower. It is awesome. So I did shoot this entire video in 8K. Go ahead and check the settings if you're at your computer or your laptop and, and you can see that you can view this entire video up to 8K. So enough of me babbling on, let's get to it. Let me show you on the computer how to export slash render your 8K video from your smartphone or camera using Shotcut. All right, so here we are with the Shotcut program open and what we're looking at now is just the intro to the video that you are watching. You can see I have my clip set in the timeline. Let's go ahead and go to export. If you're familiar with Shotcut, you're gonna go through all the same things that you've always done. So for example, we're gonna click on advanced we're going to double check right here. The resolution is at 8K. The 8K I'm shooting at is at about 24 frames per second. So we're going to go ahead and hit Kodak like we always do. I'm going to change my quality, which is defaulted at 55 to 60%. The GOP frames, we want half our frame rate. So I shot in 24. I'm going to change that to 12. And YouTube loves the B frames to be at 2. So let's go ahead and get that set. I'm going to make sure I save that. We're gonna go back to the video right here. Now, I'm just speaking in layman's terms. I have always used this hardware encoder. I've always had that checked. That way my GPU can do the heavy lifting. I have an RTX 2700 and it cuts through 1080p and 4K like butter as far as scrubbing through the video and rendering, exporting a video. And so I thought, you know, with 8K, I'm gonna need all that GPU help I can get but when I tried to render, let's go ahead and try it right now. It's gonna try and try. And you can see up here at the top right, it has failed. So I was very frustrated. Uh, you know, I did tons of Google search. I could not find anything on how to render 8K video. And then it just came to me at a moment of clarity to uncheck the hardware encoder and to let the CPU do all the editing for me. So now that when I do it, an export file. Now you can see at the very top right, the intro that I rendered took six minutes and 18 seconds, and that's just a minute video. 1080p, it'd be less than 20 seconds. At 4K, maybe it would take a minute. But using 8K just takes up a lot of resource. So if you have, at least eight cores and 16 threads like I do, you should be okay. The fewer cores, it might be a little bit more problematic. And if you have like a high-end gaming PC with an RTX 3090, then you should be good to go. But anyway, if you wanna render or export 8K video and you have a discrete or dedicated GPU and you've been using the hardware encoder to help export those videos, uncheck it and use your CPU only. So the bottom line is if you have a discrete or dedicated GPU in your computer system, uncheck the use hardware encoder box. Leave it unchecked, let your CPU do all the heavy lifting when rendering your video. I am not an expert in Shotcut. I would like to Shotcut community to shout out and put in the comments if there is a way to use your GPU to render 8K video or if there's just another way entirely that I'm not thinking of. I thank you for watching and always I'm going to see you in the next video. Good luck on rendering your 8K video, folks. I'll see you soon.